Hey guys, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are reviewing a pair of Ray-Ban Justin sunglasses that I bought from Sunglass Hut for $132 against a pair that I bought from eBay for only $64. Now what's different about the Ray-Ban Justins opposed to all the other different pairs that I've made videos just like this one on are the fact that the Ray-Ban Justins are very simple to make. The Ray-Ban Justins are actually one of Ray-Ban's cheapest frames. Like I said, they only come in at $132 and that is quite a decent price for a pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses. And again, the reason for that is they're just a very cheap and affordable pair of sunglasses for Ray-Ban to produce. With the Ray-Ban Justins, there aren't any crazy markings or etchings or any really nice acetate. They are just made out of this rubberized material, and of course they do have some Ray-Ban logos and whatnot, but they aren't nearly as advanced as something like a pair of Clomasters or New Wayfarers or even Aviators are. And because the sunglasses are so cheap and easy to produce for Ray-Ban, of course the knockoff companies have a very very, very easy time producing almost carbon copies of these sunglasses. The real sunglasses here on the bottom and the fakes here up at the top look almost identical and they are very, very hard to tell the difference. So the companies manufacturing these fake sunglasses did manage to slip up a little bit. So let's get into the differences between the real and the fake Ray-Ban Justin sunglasses. As far as look on face goes, here we have the real Ray-Ban Justin sunglasses that I bought from the Sunglass Hut. And as you guys can see, they look very, very good. They have that classic Justin look to them. And then here are the fake sunglasses that I bought on eBay. And again, here they basically look identical. You really cannot tell a difference. Uh, when somebody's wearing a fake pair of sunglasses versus wearing a real pair of sunglasses. Again, here are the fake sunglasses that I'm wearing right now, and I'm going to pop on the real sunglasses. And again, as far as on-face look goes, both these sunglasses look virtually identical. Now, you can already hear a lot of you guys saying, if they look identical and feel identical, why not just buy the fakes? Now, the biggest reason for me why I never want to own a fake pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses is because you can get them on the gray market, like places like Jama Shop that sell only 100% real Ray-Ban sunglasses for only around $80. So for $15 more, you're buying the real thing. Of course, with a real pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses, you're getting 100% UVA and UVB protection, and you're also getting much, much better quality control. The actual quality control and the actual materials that they use, such as lenses and frame material and even hinge material, is going to stand up to time much better than the fake pair of sunglasses. So it's worth that extra $15 or $20 to just go out and buy a real pair of sunglasses, whether it's from the Sunglass Hut or Jama Shop, if you do want to save some money. But I will leave a link description down below that is an affiliate link to Jama Shop in the description down below. If you want to check out these sunglasses for around at 80 to 90 dollars on their website okay so now let's jump into the actual comparison of these two frames the pair here to the left is our sunglass hub pair and then the pair here to our right is our ebay pair so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the box here so here on our real pair from the sunglass hut we can see all this texture here on the box and a very nice and bright ray-ban logo let's put that down here and then pick up our ebay pair and here on the ebay pair you guys can see there really isn't the same texture. It's more of a flat, even color. You just don't have the same texture here on the eBay box that you have on the Ray-Ban box. Now the next thing we're gonna take a look at is our serial codes here on the boxes. So let's go ahead and zoom in here and take a closer look at the uh, labels here on the sides of the box. Here we can see that this tag looks much closer than the tag on the eBay pair from our new Wayfair video. It looks much closer to the real thing, but it still is a little bit off. The first and biggest thing here is that this little QR code is in fact a QR code and not a serial code like we'd uh, traditionally see on a real pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses. So this little code here is for inventory. So authorized Ray-Ban dealers can scan this and they'll know what it is without actually reading uh, the code here, where here it's actually a QR code. And the QR code here really wouldn't make any sense to be on the box, but let's go ahead and give it a scan and see where it takes us. So here with my phone out, we're gonna zoom in and take a look at this QR code and boom, it actually takes us to Ray-Ban's website directly. Now it doesn't make any sense for it to take us to Ray-Ban's website directly. And again, like I said, on every single pair of real Ray-Ban sunglasses, you don't have a QR code here, you have a little serial code. So here if I take my phone out again and try to scan this serial code, again, it's not a QR code, so we're just not going to be able to scan it. Uh, our phone just not gonna be able to scan this little code. Like I said, it's not a QR code. So again, that's a huge difference. If you have a QR code just like this one that takes you to Ray-Ban's website on your box of sunglasses, they are always going to be fake. Okay, so now that we've taken a look at the boxes, let's just open them up and see what's inside. So here we have our sunglass hut pair. Put the box to the side here and we'll open it up. And here we can see our sunglasses themselves. 
And then we also see a Ray-Ban microfiber cleaning cloth that says rayban.com here. Looks just like that. Put that to the side. And now let's take a look at the actual sunglasses themselves. So here are the ones that were bought from the Sunglass Hut. We can see there is a little plastic uh, protector here for the uh, temple of the sunglasses. You can see that they say Ray-Ban made in Italy. And these sunglasses look really good. They feel very good. And their hinges feel very nice when opened up and when closing them. So let's put these over here to the side. And now let's take a look at our eBay pair. So here we have the eBay pair and we'll open it up. Again, the cases look very similar. It's really hard to tell uh, the difference between a real and a fake pair just by the cases because they're so easy to uh, copy and reproduce. So let's go ahead and pop the top here of our eBay pair. And then we can see first off that it's covered with this plastic material, which is definitely strange. Then if we look here, we can see the icons, which Ray-Ban really doesn't seem like they're shipping anymore, but we'll put that over here to the side. And then we can also see a Ray-Ban microfiber cleaning cloth and the little Ray-Ban.com uh, user booklet right here. Again, we'll put that to the side and let's take a look at the actual sunglasses. So we have to remove this plastic material first, which again, I've never seen on a real pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses. And here we can see they look very, very good. The frames also feel pretty nice, but the hinges feel very, very bad. This this hinge feels super, super loose when opening it and when closing it. Uh, so if I give it the little shake test here, the temple falls in very easily. And now let me take the real pair and give it a shake test. And I'm shaking it even more violently than I did the other one. And it's not falling down. Okay, so now let's go ahead and change perspective here so we can take a closer look at these two sunglass frames. Okay, so here for our fresh new perspective, we can see the sunglass up here to the left and the eBay pair here to the right. And we can uh, see that they are both very, very similar. Both have painted on Ray-Ban logos here in the top corners of the sunglasses. And if we move these sunglasses in towards each other, we can see they have the same tilt and everything looks almost identical. Both have these raised Ray-Ban logos here in the top corner of the sunglasses. And we're gonna take a closer look at those with the macro lens here in a second. But as far as actual looks of these sunglasses, they basically look identical. There really isn't a difference between these two as far as looks go. Now, as far as fine detail goes, there is gonna be a few slight differences, but as far as looks go, you really can't tell a difference of how these sunglasses look. Both of these sunglasses say Ray-Ban made in Italy right here, but the fake pair says polarized after because they do have polarized lenses. But all the different markings and everything are very similar to the sunglasses. Everything is just how it should be. From a normal viewing distance, both of these hinges look very similar to each other. But underneath our macro lens, we are gonna see that there actually is some pretty significant differences of these hinges, so let's jump to the macro lens. So here we have our raised Ray-Ban logo on the real pair of Sunglass Hut, uh, Justin Sunglasses, and here we can see it's a raised Ray-Ban logo and it is quite pronounced. And now let's switch over to the fake eBay pair. And it's very hard to show up on video, but here the Ray-Ban logo isn't nearly as pronounced. And if you feel it, you can feel it's very flush, where if you feel the real, it feels much more pronounced. Okay, so here's a close look at our painted on Ray-Ban logo on our real pair of Ray-Ban Justins. We can see the logo looks very good and no issues there. Now let's bring in the fake pair of Ray-Ban Justins. And again, here we can see the Ray-Ban looks very, very similar, but we actually can see a little bit of a paint splatter here near the B and here near the R, and that's not found on the real pair. So there is quite a significant difference between that. And the reason why there is a P here on the Ray-Ban is because these fake sunglasses have polarized lenses. So of course they're going to have the P here where the real sunglasses don't have a P because those sunglasses uh, don't have polarized lenses. Okay, so here we have the hinges again. The left pair is the real and the right pair is the fake. And here we can see that the actual screw is nice and round and very pronounced. But here on the fake, it actually is flat and it actually is sunk into the hinge. And also the diameter on the fake is much thinner than here on the real. It's gonna be nice and thick on the real. Now I know it's gonna be hard to compare if you don't have a real pair to do side by sides comparison like this, but the key difference here is this round circular screw here at, at the base of it and then here on the fake it's not round and there's quite a big difference and if you look at it uh, even with the naked eye you can tell quite a big difference so again this is what you're looking for on a reel and this is what you're looking for for the fakes and also we can see a little bit of extra goop here and the hinge just isn't nearly as nice and premium 
as the fake as far as the finishings here. So at first glance, it looks real. So these fakes did a very good job uh, trying to fake it, but at the end they did fail and they didn't quite match it even though they matched almost everything else on these two frames. Okay, for the last test here, we have a cooking scale set to grams and here we have our real pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses. We'll put them on the scale and they're gonna weigh between 31 and 32 grams depending on how accurate your scale is. Uh, so let's put these down and now let's pop on the fake pair of sunglasses and bam right there 28 grams not even close it's a huge difference for a pair of sunglasses and the tolerances of Ray-Ban are way too tight for this to be a real pair. That is definitely the nail in the coffin. This is absolutely a fake pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses. Again, I will put these back on to show you guys one more time. I also have another pair of real Ray-Ban Justins that I bought from Sunglass High in a different colorway here. Let's put these on scale. Again, 31 grams. And now let's pop on the fakes here and the fakes are only 28 grams. So the fake sunglasses are gonna weigh more. Sometimes fakes weigh less, sometimes they weigh more. In this case, they definitely weigh less. And you actually can feel a tiny difference, maybe a little bit. They feel a little bit cheaper, and because of that, they are lighter. But that's all I got for you guys in this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give me a big thumbs up down below. And of course, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and then you'll be notified every single time I play a brand new video, just like this one, to my YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching this video, and I'll catch you all in the next one.